The deserted house of the contractor stands desolate on the outskirts of the city. It has once been a bustling heart of a thriving family business that specialized in road construction. The contractor, a proud father, had started the business in 1900. His son Leo had taken over later. Together they worked tirelessly to build the reputation of their company. Leo was a driven man who shared his father's passion for road construction. He diligently managed the business while his wife Denise took care of the administration side. But one day fate struck. Leo lost his life in a tragic work accident. He was still on the construction site when the accident happened. The news hit a close-knit community like a bombshell. Leo's wife was devastated and lost her reason for being. She tried to keep the business running, but without her husband it was a heavy burden to bear. After seven months of grieving and struggling, Denise had to make a difficult decision to permanently shut down the business. The house, which was once been a vibrant center of the family business, became a silent witness to a tragic turn to event. Denise stayed in the house for many more years, but couldn't barely take care of herself. She grew weaker and lonelier, while the house slowly fell into disrepair. Eventually, Denise passed away, and since then, the house stood empty. Years passed by, but the house was neglected and forgotten. The roof leaked, the windows were broken, the house became a sad reminder of an era of hope and ambition that came to an abrupt end. In 2011, the house was finally completely abandoned. The once thriving contracting business was now nothing more than an empty memory of the past. The abandoned house is now lonely and neglected, like a melancholic monument of loss and oblivion. Welcome back guys. Today we are in France in the home of Leo and Denise. Leo died in 1985 and when Denise died in 2010 their home became abandoned and everything is still left behind. So let's explore this place. We are here in the main living room. This is their dining table. They have four chairs. They have also two children. And as you can see the decay in this house is incredible. The paint from the door completely gone. <laughs> also these walls. <laughs> the plaster is almost falling down. Also the wallpaper in this corner. This came from the ceiling. <laughs> the lights are still hanging. They are pretty nice actually. And also over here you can see the ivy is trying to find a way in. All the way to the top. Crazy. This house is abandoned for more than 10 years and completely in decay. Also, they have a really nice chandelier still hanging here. I'm not sure for how long. And as you see over here, someone in the family had to play violin, I think. It's empty, the violin is gone, but the case is still here. Very beautiful. <laughs> this is really funny. Maybe they put like a port wine inside, I don't know. They have nice little cups that they put under. And then they open it and the port came out. <laughs> really cool. One of them is missing. It's still beautiful. Also, all the glasses are still inside. All the china. Yeah, look at this. All the plates, everything is still inside. Here we have a Japanese style vitrine where they put uh, the good stuff in. That was for soup on Sundays. I think this was used for pepper and salt. Maybe some sugar. But this doesn't fit actually in the interior interior of this house. You see this Japanese style. Mm -hmm. 
full bottle of martini. It's not daytime. So on the opposite side of the dining area, we have a sitting area, a big couch for Leo and Denise, two chairs for their children, and I think Denise loved knitting. She was making something, but she never could it finish because she passed away. On that side, we have a small little cupboard, beautiful sliding doors. But no television anymore, only a nice old telephone, a beautiful picture on the wall, which is not straight, it may help it a little bit, doesn't work. And here on this corner, look at this, we have this old pram, very beautiful, it's, it's broken because normally this was connected with leather straps over here. Something like this <laughs> to have more comfort. Very beautiful. I think they kept it here in the living room for decoration. But also over here in this corner. The wallpaper is completely gone. Only the light is still hanging here on the wall. Spider webs. Look at this. This black, pure mold. Not really a healthy environment. Denise was not able to walk properly and she couldn't walk the stairs, so that's why she had to sleep downstairs. Here in this little room, they had our bed. On the opposite side, a small chair. You can see her old glasses. She probably needed when she was reading one of these books. Also here, the wallpaper came down, as you see. Some nice little details, full of spider webs. But as we look up, look at the ceiling, it's completely falling down. Also over here you can see the old drapes, full of holes, the ivy trying to find her way in. Some stuff left, her clothes maybe, again more books, sorry Denise, so maybe to pass her time, she was reading a lot. empty but very beautiful and when she has to go out when it was raining <laughs> that's really typical something for old ladies <laughs> <laughs> a plastic bag for your head I don't know how you call it These are pretty big diapers for, um, probably for Denise. Now we are standing next to the office of Leo's company. Denise spent the majority of her time here. Also, they had a second entrance, so the customers don't have to walk all the way through their house to visit him. Look at this state of decay. The peeling paint on the ceiling, the wallpaper is falling down. 
the ivy is trying to find a way in through the windows. The complete outside is overgrown. But Leo died in 1985 and shortly after this company was closed. So this office became uh, useless. But still there is a lot of stuff left. Old papers when he was still working. All from 1985, 1977 even. But Denise spent a lot of her time here and she always had her kids with her. She had two kids, two sons. And here we can say Leo with his wife Denise and one of their kids. Also this telephone, so cool. I don't know why the F2, maybe it was uh, for stereo, I don't know, but it's cool. Also these old pictures. Maybe they are from his father, I don't know. Here they were working on the road. Also over here. This one could be from Leo. No, it's also a very old car. As you can see they were working on the road. Maybe there was Leo and his father. It's nice to see these old pictures. Let's put them back. Very beautiful. But look over here. Probably they get all the most important papers. Oh. Let's put it back. this maybe the at Peugeot 604 yep so when we enter this place on the back side there's a huge garage so maybe his car is still left we have to check that out but it's very beautiful this old very beautiful <laughs> I think they were a big fan of Peugeot because also the kitchen stuff is from Peugeot Mix. Same brand. I have no idea why this is standing here in the office, but maybe because it doesn't use it anymore. Also a blender with no purpose here. <laughs> These books. Yellow pages. And even a plant, he died because I don't know why, there is water coming through the, uh, the roof. He has sunlight, but still he died. And of course, on hot summer days, Leo had a fan. Oh, come back. Now full of spider webs. Now we are at the first level of this house, and the house has four bedrooms and a bathroom. But first check out this one. And it's like downstairs, just everything is left. We have a double bed, also a lot of mold here in this corner. So decay is starting here also. And on this bed, there are so many pictures. It's just all old family pictures. Oh, this is the house in better days. Now these walls are covered with ivy. What a difference. <laughs> a 
Also, this is the living room with the grandfather, I think, with the granddad. It's the same wallpaper, the same painting, and the same sofa. This house is really frozen in time. Maybe this was Denise. This is a very old picture. In the corner we have a fireplace and they used it. That's something dangerous to do with the carpet on the floor. Oh, this frame is broken. The picture fell out. It's a very old picture. Just a family portrait. <laughs> and some old gloves. Maybe this sofa used Leo to put on his socks. And what's in this cupboard? Will there be clothing in it? Oh yeah, there's still a lot of clothes in it. I think they were from Leo. They were from a man. Yeah. Definitely. It's a bit messy, but it's still full. Oh. And also over here, a lot of stuff left. The next room is just a single bed, so probably one of the kids. And a very nice chandelier. <laughs> the window is open. So. Oh. Glass is broken. Full of clothes. Look at this. All suits. So probably. Oh. Probably on Sunday we put on the best suit. Yeah. Or maybe they went to a church, you never know. Old jackets, fancy suits. <laughs> a little bit of a mess, a little bit of everything. This was for her. This was from Denise. Can you imagine Denise walking around in this one? Let's put it back. Over here, an old pram, just like downstairs, also broken but very, very beautiful. It's made from metal and it weighed actually a lot. It's very beautiful. Some old picture. Okay, there's a name on it. I look over it. Some of the family pictures. Weird doll. Oh, see. Here we have just a single bed, a very small one for children. But look at the drapes. They are completely rotten. Birds flying in and out. It's a lot of bird poo on the ground. Now we have two rooms left, over here and over here, but they are very dark, so we're going to put up some lights and then we're going to explore it. This must be the bedroom of one of the kids. We have a nice little desk on that side, a radio over here, some old records. Tony Rennie's, never heard of it. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> 1971. Nice, cute radio. 
And look over here. This is not a painting, but a puzzle. It's a little bit falling apart. There's a glass in front, so it will stay in place, but... Not sure what this is, but... Small little cupboard. Also in front of the heating. Also over here, the mold. Look at it. Really not healthy. Full of cobwebs. Nice little lamp. This is a nice little desk. Look at the cobwebs. <laughs> Completely covered. The old clock. Full of dust. All this corner is one spider web, one big spider web. I don't know if you can see it pretty well, but it starts here in the corner and goes all the way up. There's a big spider in the corner. Also the mold on that side, not really healthy. A quite modern chair. All the clothing stacked on each other. Pants from back in the days. Behind the right door of his wardrobe, <laughs> he had his toothbrush. And on the other side, he could make himself ready in the morning. He had water, to wash his face, this is brush his teeth. <laughs> let's close it again and let's go to the next room. So in the last bedroom there is one thing what is missing. This one doesn't have a fireplace, it's removed. You can clearly see that there was once a fireplace. These are tiles, this wood. And the fireplace was standing here, but they removed it. Take a look at this wardrobe. Very beautiful decorated. All the decorations. And what's inside? More stuff. Down here we have some books. The Himalaya. First, some stuff. Also, again, some knitting stuff. But they are really beautiful. Yeah, all the clothes are still here. As we see these clothes, we can assume that these people were not poor, but wealthy. Let's put it back. But I really love this wardrobe. <laughs> Very nice decorated. Also, a quite big bed. Two little cupboards, also full of books. The whole house is full of books, so I think they like reading. A gigantic pineapple. This is from 1983. Second. A busy man. <laughs> Maybe Denise made these things. We see it all over the place. 
also downstairs. <laughs> More for decoration. An old photo. Not sure who is on it. Maybe one of the kids when you went to the army. Could be. There's only one room left here, and that's the bathroom. Every morning they were standing here. Maybe Leo was shaving himself. Look. This is so old. The beautiful. It's quite big sink. But if you see the colors, everything is pink. Director pink, ceiling, wall, almost everything is pink. So the favorite color have to be pink. <laughs> the bathtub, yeah, very old and very dirty now. A bidet, typical for France. Not sure what this is, but I think. It's for your nails to polish. I'm not really sure. Oh. Put it back. Beautiful. For makeup. And I think this is also for makeup. I don't need it, but this was for brushing their hair. <laughs> and maybe Denise had some uh, curly hair, because I think, I have to ask Isabel, is this for a uh, curly hair thing? Yeah, you have to put it in your hair. Nice. <laughs> but look at that. The vacuum cleaner. The Dyson from 1950. Oh my god guys, look at this. The dream car of Leo, the Peugeot 604. He's still standing here, I can't believe it. But would it be open? It is. Wow. <laughs> wow, really beautiful. I have to do it. Oh, I think. Leo was a very short man. This is really cool. Big steering wheel. Yeah, perfect. The car has just 50,000 kilometers. That's all. Open roof. We are closed. Maybe the trunk. Oh, oh big trunk. Look at this. Spare tire. Beautiful car. But also Denise had a car. She had the Renault 4. And look how beautiful this is. A beautiful car. An absolute beauty. 
see the seats are still beautiful and if you look up here it has a little bit more than 6,000 kilometers that's nothing brake lights the window wipers Shock. so cool You're also oh. very dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. All the cobwebs. Amazing, two cars just rotting away here. So Leo was a contractor and he built roads. That's why you see all these signs up here. They were very important for them. But as you see, these ones are very old. Some of them are completely rusted. Like this one over here. Oh, switch. You see, they put them like this on the road. Well, they were working and there are a lot of them. <laughs> oh, oh. And of course, if you build roads, you need a car like this. <laughs> it's all rusty. But it's still standing here. Unbelievable. <laughs> Look at these guys. Is that thing turning actually? No, nope. nothing is turning. Because this is turning, but it doesn't do anything. It broke. Jeez. It's very old. It's cool. Look, I have knobs and things, everything, really cool, imagine driving on a road like this. <laughs> So guys, we're gonna photograph this place now and we hopefully see you next week. Thanks for watching, bye.